All right, hello and hello, welcome everyone. Um, we are here today for Motivation Monday and to talk about this LinkedIn acquisition. So uh, I don't know if this will be as quick as last time, but uh, we'll see. And so, yeah, what I'm doing here today, I'm here in the Bay Area. You can take a look outside my room. This is my childhood room here. We're looking out into uh, Almond Valley in South San Jose here. And so, yeah, uh, there's two things that I want to talk about today as uh, we start off this Monday. And so the first one is LinkedIn getting bought by Microsoft for a cool $28 billion. And so what does that mean to people in this group? Uh, what does that mean to people who are looking for work? And what the heck does this mean for Microsoft? And so, number one, I want to say that uh, Microsoft is one of my favorite companies now because of what now their current CEO, Satya Nadella, has done. Uh, when Ballmer left, uh, Steve Ballmer... Steve Ballmer left after uh, Bill Gates had left. Uh, there was really a lot of a sinking ship over there. But in 2014, they turned it around. It was a lot of talk about mobile and cloud. And so a lot of things have changed. And LinkedIn fits into Microsoft's strategy for a lot of different technological reasons. But for the reasons that you should care is that it builds within their technology suite of pretty much everything. So for those of you who uh, still use Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office, um, Microsoft has something called Office 365 that is uh, used for collaboration and used for uh, productivity and things like that. And uh, by the way, for any of you who have any questions at the bottom, please chime in. For those of you who use Office 365 and uh, love it, uh, you're going to love it even more because LinkedIn's acquisition is only going to make everything more social. Um, your ability to connect with someone while working on a Microsoft Word document with them. Your ability to understand what's going on on Microsoft SharePoint and seeing what skills your colleagues have so you know how to better collaborate with each other. And for those of you who may or may not have used this in your corporate settings, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft purchased Yammer back in 2011, uh, which means that they're going to create a better version of groups, I hope, in their efforts to bring people together, to help them collaborate, to do things like that. And so for those of you who also work in social media, this is an interesting acquisition too. Uh, because you're now seeing a lot of social media companies outside of Facebook beginning to consolidate, somewhat struggling, things like that. We saw that LinkedIn declined about, what, what was it, like $70 per share earlier last year? And so that was a sign of the bad times coming. Um, but even more so, uh, you're looking at Twitter struggling now. And, you know, there's not really all that much social media stuff going on here. And so, yeah, uh, if you if you if you see the writing on the wall, the writing on the wall is definitely there now. It's that uh, technology is continuing to consolidate. We're still in good economic times, but it would have also told me that LinkedIn probably would not have survived the next recession whenever that would have happened. And so that's also something to keep in mind about. And so, yeah. I would continue with your daily business. I would say that you should continue to use LinkedIn. Uh, I wouldn't stop using it necessarily. Uh, but I would also I would also continue to open up how you network with people, whether it's events, whether it's going to uh, things and doing things in this group, you know, commenting below, sharing your LinkedIn, whatever it is. Um, you have to do a lot of different things at once to succeed in your career now. It's not just LinkedIn as your college career counselor might find you to be. So that's just what I have to say for uh, LinkedIn being bought out by Microsoft this morning. Again, $28 billion. Um, so yeah, good morning, Matthew. And uh, thank you, Bobak, for the great analysis there too. Really, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to move on to Motivational Monday. And so... Today on, on Motivation Monday, I want to take this chance on Facebook Live to actually tell you a story. And so we're in the year 2016 now, and uh, I, I, it's, it's Monday, the Monday after graduation for a lot of those on the quarter system. And uh, some of you here graduated from Santa Clara University over the weekend, and... Uh, <clears throat> 
Some of you are probably waking up to this Facebook group this morning and you have no idea what the heck is going on, right? Because that's exactly where I was uh, the Monday after graduation 2010. Uh, I, what would I want to say? I, I, I did find myself a job early out of college, but it paid less than the cost of college tuition at Santa Clara. And I remember sitting in my apartment and looking into my laptop that morning, and I was just thinking, what the heck is going on here? Um... I had this job. It's a pretty cool job, actually. Uh, it would have given me on, gotten me on track to becoming a Salesforce administrator, which would have paid out great dividends. But at that time, you know, you just there's some things that you don't know, and that's that's when it really hit me that I hadn't really done what I needed to do for my uh, for my graduation. Uh, you know, I had I had networked, but only on campus. I hadn't gone off campus like many of you savvy folks here who have. Um, and I was just wondering, okay, what the heck is this real world? I have no idea. And I, uh, you know, I hopped on my own company's, I hopped on my, uh, own, uh, alma mater's LinkedIn page and I was like, okay, oh my God, somebody help me here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm new to this whole professional space. What the heck is going on? And so, you know. I waited a few hours, didn't really get that many responses, and what ended up happening was an MBA graduate from Santa Clara by the name of Ken Yap, he's actually in this group, he works as a financial advisor, shout out to him, reached out to me and told me, you have to go out there and network, you can get your butt out there. And I, I know I talked about this earlier last month, but I want to also share it live because I think it's important to emphasize just how much, number one, School does not prepare you for the real world. And number two, how much of everything that you're about to do is you going out and creating it on your own. Because no one is going to help you create what it is that you're about to create. You are accountable for it 150,000% on your own. And so, you know, we're here on a Monday. It's 8.28 a.m. here on the West Coast. Uh, and that's my invitation to all of you this week. It's for you to go out and create something for yourself on your own and whatever size or shape or whatever it looks like. It's to really go out there and jumpstart whatever it is that you want to do with the rest of your life, especially if you're a new college graduate. Because you know what? You have no more midterms to take. You have no more term papers to write. You have no more club meetings to attend. And, you know, you just got to make it work. You got to make it happen. And so for me early on, it was literally going to every single networking event that was out there. Um, Cesar Plata, who's in this group, had a series of mixtures back then that I attended. Um, I would go on Meetup and I would find whatever the heck was over there. I would go, go to things that I find off of Eventbrite. Uh, and so it really... Your networking goal for the week is to go out there, and especially if you're in the Bay Area, you have absolutely zero excuse because there are so many things going on every single night, right? You know, Michael Brigham, who runs this group with me, uh, helps with the San Francisco American Marketing Association. Uh, CJ Terrell, shout out to him. He helps with a lot of what Idea to IPO does, which is a startup organization. And there are numerous amounts of people. I think Cheryl Lee said that if you're a member of the Santa Clara County Library, that you get lynda.com for free now, and that they do all these LinkedIn workshops and a lot of different networking events. So, you know, pile out there and get that stuff on your Google Calendar or whatever calendar application you use. Because, you know, as a new graduate, the world is your oyster, but only if you go out and shuck it. So that's all I have to say for you today. And so have a great rest of the week. I'll see you here later today, tomorrow. And uh, we'll be helping all of you with your job search. But in order to get help for your job search, you got to step up too. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great Monday, everyone. And uh, make this week rock. Thanks.